Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Hi, meteorologist Bree Sullivan, and we're talking about a record you don't necessarily want to talk about at this point in April. But if we're going to be cold, we might as well break the record. Cedar Rapids, there is a new record as of this morning, 19 degrees, bested the old one by a full degree. No one else got there, however, we were getting pretty close. Waterloo, just two degrees above the old record, same for Iowa City. So it was a chilly start this morning. I'm sure many of you can attest to it. But this afternoon, temperatures will get into those lower 50s, still about 10 degrees below average. But it will be pleasant because those winds won't be much to talk about. But notice the clouds. They will be on the increase through the overnight, but we will stay dry. Here's a look at the winds. Congratulations, they're in the green category. They do pick up overnight, especially through the day tomorrow, gusting up to 40 miles per hour. So we're getting a brief break. Enjoy it while it's out there. Get the dog out for their walk this afternoon. It will be a very pleasant evening despite the increasing clouds. Tomorrow, not so much. It's going to be a soggy day, rain, storms, nothing severe expected, and it will be windy. Then as we head into Thursday, it's going to be the best day of the week, mostly sunny, and those winds, they are going to be on the light side once again. Let's check this all out for you. The sunshine that you had on the way to work today, well, you're going to need to put those sunglasses away because we do have those clouds filling in later on this evening. They will stay with us through the overnight hours. Then as we head towards tomorrow morning, our southern and western counties have the best shot of seeing some showers early in the day. Most of us should stay dry for that bus stop tomorrow morning and that morning commute. Then the activity begins early or late morning towards that noon time frame in our western counties. Nothing severe, but a good soak for those lawns. This will move west to east be in our eastern counties as we get towards the later part of the afternoon so some good heavy rainfall and some of those stronger storms but we're not expecting uh, anything that's going to be drought busting this will continue to move off to the east through the overnight hours and then leave us with a beautiful day on thursday there are some indications there could be a little bit of fog in eastern iowa but overall plan on a beautiful Thursday with those light winds, sunny skies, and warmer, more comfortable temperatures. But it is brief because by Thursday night, that rain's going to lift in from the south, and we have on and off rain chances as we head into Friday. As far as totals, a quarter to three quarters of an inch is possible if you get under one of those stronger storms. But we are going to see area-wide rainfall, which is something we need in a lot of areas, still that moderate drought category. Today, highs cooler than average into the 40s and 50s, but with those light winds, it will be pleasant. Tonight, temperatures not near as cold as last night, still in those 40s. It will be breezy. Winds are going to pick up, gusting to near 25 through the overnight. Then as we look at that city-by-city city forecast, pretty much a washout through the day tomorrow. And then as we head into Thursday, beautiful 60s and sunshine, light winds, get outside, best day of the week. And then as we head into the weekend, we do have that chance for some showers and thunderstorms. There is going to be a cold front moving through Saturday into Sunday. Some of those strong storms could be strong, so we've got our eye on that. But look at that, 76 for that high on Saturday.